Every Wednesday morning, Stu Weber, Steve Keels, and myself meet together for Bible study and prayer. And it's really one of the highlights of the week. Often it's the highlight of the week. These are guys that I've known for many years. These are, we've poured our lives into each other. We love each other. We care for each other. We're honest with each other. And we've talked about accountability for many years. And I think accountability now is a word that is almost dead to many people because it's been around long enough. I remember 30 years ago when it was a new word. And, and now it's like, well, we all know we should have it, but do we have it? Do we ask each other the tough questions? And do we walk arm in arm with each other, beside each other? And I remember recently when a, yet another Christian leader went down in flames in terms of immorality in his life. And we looked at each other in the eyes and we say, what is happening in our lives, guys, that's going to prevent this? What is happening in our lives? What's in place that is going to honor God and glorify God? And yes, we're not going to be perfect, but we are going to pay attention to the condition of our hearts. Search our hearts, Lord. You know, know our way. Show if there's any hurtful way in us. Lead us in the way everlasting. We help each other do that. My wife and I help each other do that. When we sit down, we talk together, and we pray together, and we open the Word together, or we read from a book together, we realize that, you know, we've got grown children, we've got four grandsons now, and we're not going to pass on much of an inheritance to our children. We want to pass on a heritage to our children that is Christ-centered. And that's really what our life is about. We're going to spend eternity with Christ, and in eternity, we're going to be able to look back at this life and say, Lord, thank you for your faithfulness in helping us to do what mattered, to do what counted. And yes, sometimes we failed. But for the most part, we want to look back and we want to be able to hear the greatest words that could ever be expressed in the universe, to hear Christ say to us, well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into your master's joy. And that is a joy. It's the joy of God that transcends all other joys. And in fact, is the fountainhead of all other joys. The lesser streams of joy, as C.S. Lewis put it, those, those come from, they flow out of that fountainhead, that source of all joy that is in God. Now, living life that way is living life in a way that matters, in a way that's going to matter, that's going to count for all eternity.